East Africa. Mr. Speaker, sir, Nakuru, since that time, as we know, has more or less been uh, the third headquarters of Kenya. We know Nairobi is where the president resides, parliament resides, is headquartered here. Uh, the judiciary is also headquartered here. But we do know that even at the level of the heads of state, it is Nairobi, our founding father, would either be Nairobi, Mombasa, and Nakuru. The second president would either be in Nairobi or Nakuru, at the times Mombasa. So Nakuru is a very central place which should really enjoy the status of a city. a 14-day tour of our neighboring country, the Republic of Uganda. It was called the city of Gulu, the mayor. We went to Barara. It was called the city of, of uh, Barara. We went to Kavale. It was called the city of Kavale. With actually the mayor and everything that goes with it. And most of these uh, cities in Uganda are smaller than Nakuru. It appears as if there must have been a policy to make any capital that was a capital of a region in Uganda was made into a city. And if that was to be the criteria, Mr. Speaker, sir, then Nakuru would also qualify because it is indeed the capital of the largest uh, region in the Republic of Kenya. So they do qualify. But as has been stated, with this confinement of city, responsibilities accrue. And responsibilities are many, as set out in the first schedule of the Urban Areas and Cities Act, many. And it is illustrative to note, Mr. Speaker, sir, that the first, as a city, according to that schedule, they must look at the traffic control and parking. Mr. Speaker, sir, we will normally go through, as Senator Wetangula did mention, you can really be delayed by the traffic jams in Nakuru on your way to Kisumu as you drive, or on, or on your way to Kericho, or on your way to wherever, Eldoret even. And therefore, that's the first thing they have to look at. Mr. Speaker, sir, they have the opportunity, them being made a city now, to look at these problems now. Now. Rather than, Mr. Speaker, sir, they don't look at them and they become like other cities. You know, the traffic jams we have in Nairobi, the traffic jams we have in Mombasa are but a pointer. They have the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, sir, to so plan that they avoid the city jams. Mr. Speaker, sir, reading the report of the committee, I can see that most of it really is what I would call work in progress. Work in progress. If it is water, availability of water, again, it is work in progress. And the speakers, again, the problems of water are there, even in the existing cities. But they have the opportunity to deal with it now.
Mr. Speaker, sir, they have the opportunity, uh, if it is the question of airport, Mr. Speaker, sir, as we have read in the report, it is also work in progress. The Lanet airstrip being converted into, uh, into, into whatever. If it is parks, again, uh, work in progress. If it is uh, dump sites, again, work in progress. And as we confer the status of city on Nakuru, I do hope, Mr. Speaker, sir, that the promises that have been made under the numerous items where it is work in progress, it will be fulfilled. I wish there was a way in which we can go after one year or two years to see this work in progress. Has it continued or has it stopped? Because we, we have a habit in Kenya where we start on projects but we don't complete them. We just start them to get, to get what we want and then uh, it stopped there. So Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I support the committee, committee's recommendation that Nakuru indeed deserves to be called the city of Nairobi. Yeah, of <laughs> It sounds to be called the city of Nakuru. I support. Okay, I'll reduce more because this is so much. Five minutes, Senator Kamar. Because we have to take a vote very soon. Uh, thank you. And also online, continue staying online because we must vote for Kara and this, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll take the five minutes. I'll not take more. First, I want to support the report from the committee that Nakuru becomes the city of Nakuru. And I want to thank the committee for a thorough job and uh, working very fast. Mr. Speaker, this is something that has been delayed. Uh, Nakuru should have been a city long before the 2019 application. Uh, for some of us who knew Nakuru from when we were young and attended almost every show in Nakuru when we were in high school and even when we were employed, we knew Nakuru as the city that was going to be second to Nairobi. Uh, maybe again because I come from Rift Valley, for us that was our headquarters. It is what brought South Rift and North Rift together and uh, our provincial commissioner uh, administered from Nakuru. So Nakuru has, been a big, has had a big name without being called a city. I want to congratulate the people of Nakuru and um, the leaders of Nakuru for preparing themselves well for this position. Mr. Speaker, the city status is an important one and I want to agree with what Senator Wako said. When I went to the East African community as a member of the East African Legislative Assembly, Documentation that we found there was amazing because it even showed uh, competition, intercity competition and comparisons. And what the uh, senator said about Nakuru being the cleanest was not only the city as the cleanest, but the East African um, railways and harbors had considered Nakuru as the best and the most friendly railway station. So Nakuru has had a lot. My, the only thing I would like to, to ask the leadership of Nakuru is that they need to bring back the old image of Nakuru. The Nakuru that we knew, the Nakuru that was extremely cosmopolitan as far as elected leaders was concerned, the Nakuru that was um, friendly to everybody. We want to bring that image. I know um, when a place grows in population, then we lose a lot of... Uh, uh, we lose a lot if we are not prepared as far as the facilities are concerned. But I really believe that Nakuru can bring back its image. We have already seen it. The old railway in Nakuru has, uh, has been cleaned. You can now see it even from the highway. So I would like to congratulate the leadership of Nakuru and um, with our sister here uh, who has been talking about the international airport, we also ask them uh, and ask government to move further and give Nakuru the international airport. Why? 
because there are flower farms that are very close to Nakuru that do not need to bring their flowers to Nairobi. Uh, in Damaravin, we have a lot of flowers. Around Nakuru, we, we have a lot of export flowers. So there are a lot of export goods that can exit actually through Nakuru to the international market. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I know we are going to be the next in line. We've already named ourselves as the city of champions in Eldoret, and I really believe that we are going to be ne the next. We have just been waiting for Nakuru to move out of the way. So because Nakuru is out of the way now, we can prepare ourselves and come here. City status, we know, is very important for any, any town or any upgrading of a town. Basically because it attracts a different kind of clientele. The kind of tourists that will come, even flow into Nakuru now, is going to be very different. Mr. Speaker, Nakuru has been known because of the flamingos from the 50s, from the colonial days. But we need to prepare it for the kind of tourists that will be attracted to these kind of facilities. So, Nakuru, congratulations, and we look forward to uh, other counties coming forward, like, uh, and I join Senator Murko Menakeli in challenging the other governors to come forward. Mine should be the first one, because we already have named ourselves uh, Count of Champions. Um, with that, those remarks, I support the report of the committee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Chilayako Vacho, five minutes. Chilayako.